Hey y'all, N4H and H here. This is a follow-up video to the uh, previous video about setting up the FT891 for CW. I just couldn't pass this up. As soon as I stopped recording, <clears throat> started hearing this station come in calling CW. Look at the blue light every time he sends. But notice he's not even moving the meter. And no, I don't have IPO on. He's a ghost station, right? Yep, even the FT-891 can, can pull out these ghost stations. He's just right there on the edge. Now, look what happens if I just disable the tight filter. I'll get rid of APF. <clears throat> now I can I can tell he's there. Yeah, forgive me, I didn't even take time to set up the tripod, uh, so I know I'm wiggling a little bit, but I wanted y'all to hear this. So right now it's on a, on a default filter width, which is gonna be 500. Digital noise reduction, 15. Width. Now I'll go in and put the icing on the cake. APF. So let me let you listen. Well, when he sends again. Remember the audio peak filter. Oh, listen. Somebody's talking now sideband on this same channel. That happens. Here he is. So here's an example of what I talked about in the previous video. I'm using APF because he's a little bit off frequency. And you notice when the when I turned on the APF, he all, he all but disappeared. Barely tell he's there because the APF is very tight. See, it's tuning in 10 hertz increments. So it looks like he's 20 hertz high. And, and again, like I mentioned in the previous video, if I were to use the zero in to let the receiver adjust to where he is, I would lose my ability to transmit. So with 60 meter band only, you've got to do it with APF. But listen, I mean, not even wiggling the meter. Okay, agreed. I've shown you this in other videos. When you turn off all this filtering, you're sending more, uh, you know, signal into the AGC and the AGC is driving the meter. So you could argue and say, well, technically he's probably an S2, maybe an S1, because he's right in there with the noise. So when you tighten your filter, it lowers the amount of voltage that the AGC unit's sending to the S meter. And again, you've seen it in my previous videos, ignore the S meter, go by signal to noise ratio. So now, I'm just hearing him and just a little bit of that filter ring from the tight filter slope. But again, my DNR is helping eliminate some of that. And there's one other little trick I didn't show you in the previous video, but I'll show it here. If you go into your function menu and look for, I missed it. There it is, the manual notch filter. I've covered this in previous videos. So I'm listening at 600 hertz, remember? So look at that, it's a, it's a very, very deep notch. You don't wanna to go to 600 because you're gonna wipe out the side tone. But you can adjust that and cut out some of that filter ring, either on, either on the high side, above 600 or below 600. If you had two of these notch filters, you could do both sides. I find that about 80 hertz below the side tone is a good spot for the notch filter to help eliminate any residual filter ring. 
again, this is an extreme situation. This guy's just about imaginary, you know, he's almost a ghost signal. So anyway, thought I'd shoot this quick addendum video uh, based on um, things that I was showing you in the previous video regarding the FT-891 and um, a CW setup. Yeah, that strange noise you're hearing there, so remember we share these channels, sideband and CW. The CW is the center of the channel and the sideband is transmitting uh, one and a half kilohertz below the center of the channel, but occupying 2.8 kilohertz of bandwidth. So their voice is splattering right through where we're listening on CW. Believe it or not, though, you can do both at the same time with good filtering. You can sit here and have a CW QSO while they're talking. Um, conversely, if you're the, on the CSSB side, uh, you're going to hear the dits and dolls at a, it just, just at a higher pitch. Okay, so hope, hopefully that this will be a, a good addendum to that one. I wanted you to just hear the opportunity to pull out a weak station there and see how the filtering is uh, helping me get him uh, above the noise floor, if you will. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and thank you again to my Patreons for helping keep the channel going. 73 from N4HNH.